Did you get any sleep last night? I don't sleep. I just dream. Day four, four or five, okay, five, four, five, four and a half. We have spent the last four and a half days seeing some of the greatest hunting land in the eastern side of Ireland. Uh, Dave at Deer Hunting Ireland has shown us unbelievable properties with amazing amounts of deer. And we've shot four incredible seeker deer really? in Ireland. In three days. In three days. So. This is where things have taken a turn. Yeah. yeah We've so walked probably 50 miles and it's all uphill and we're wet and cold and it's rained nonstop. It's been just miserable. And right when you're ready to eat a big meal, take a hot shower and get to bed, we get a phone call that we're driving five hours across the country last night in the middle of the night to the west coast of Ireland. We're on the west coast. Like the Atlantic Ocean is right here. <laughs> to chase red stag. We wanted to hunt red stag. We were successful with seek deer, so we haven't slept in days, literally. A couple hours here, a couple hours there. The rain's coming again, but apparently on this mountain, there's red stag. Red stag today, baby, let's do this. Go. So all this forestry here we have to shoot so we can go over to this part up here and we can glass across if we need to. We can go around. Oh, this is on the far side as well here. So there's about 4,000 acres here of just the forestry and of course the surrounding lands as well. So if you need to, we can, we can find a place where they're coming in now and just glass it to see if they're on the hill or not, or if we can get them in the evening so they're coming in around. <laughs> You're gonna lose a boot. <laughs> I'd come help you, but I'm filming. <laughs> Almost lost one, bud.
He's down. You hit with the first shot, thank God. Okay, this is the... <laughs> yeah, he's on 250 yards. We just shot a red stag. In nice Ireland. He's down. <clears throat> you hit with the first shot, thank God. Okay, this is the... <laughs> yeah, he's on 250 yards. We just shot a red stag. In nice Ireland. Brandon, get down here. Look at this. That's the Atlantic Ocean in the background. A giant red stag in Ireland. <laughs> Sean, thank you. Hey, my man. Thank you so much, brother. Giant. I was How like, is that even possible? I literally, dude, if I was any lower, I'd have never seen vitals. Crushed. We just shot a red stag. First shot was perfect. Yeah. In Ireland, look at this view. This is where red stags originate from. This is where they belong. The Atlantic Ocean in the background, it has been nothing but just the worst weather imaginable. And we just did it. That's incredible. Here we sit in Ireland on a mountainside. We've got the Atlantic Ocean behind us. We made a crazy decision yesterday. So we were we're, we're in Ireland hunting sea deer, and we've had Tremendous success. Brandon shot his second seat the buck last night, and as we were taking care of it, uh, Dave sent us a message and said, hey, you know, we can uh, go after reds in the morning, but it's five hour drive to the other side of the country. And even though none of us have slept, all of us have put on, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how many miles up and down these mountains we've put on, but we decided to, to go for it and try it which led us here at two o'clock in the morning, sleeping for three hours and back up the mountain that we've never seen before. And thank you, Dave. Deer stalking Ireland invited us here and has not disappointed on the amount of, just the experience alone is, is worth doing this. Unbelievable. I just, I, I'm speechless. He's a royal stag because he has, so he's six by six, you can see. But he looks, like, he looks a good stag, he's just, I'd say he's maybe gone back a bit because these only brow types get big. And then when they get older, they get skinnier and longer. But, but I'd say he's been up here for a good while. He's somehow avoided people until we get, came along and so on. But he's a nice shot, yeah, you took him just there, so it's not... set up to take some pictures of my stag. And we've got another giant coming down the valley working our way right to us. Right there. Come on, right at us. This is just a pair of pointing our ear. Let's do this. Holy cow. We are set up on Chad's stag. We're about to do some pictures and we look over and there comes another one up over the hill. Crazy.
is. We are literally set up to take some pictures of my stack. We've got another giant coming down the valley working our way right to us. He's right there. Don't want to get us. This is just here. I'm going to your Let's do this. Holy cow. We are set up on Chad's stack. I'm about to do some pictures. If we look over, there comes another one up over the hill. Chad just shot a giant stag, a giant red, and now mine is down also. Double, again, in Ireland. Look at this, we got the ocean here, the hills, the mountains, the Irish themselves. Chad Brandon, thank you guys so much. <laughs> God, I can't believe that just happened. Are you kidding? Let me make sure that's... John, that's a tough shot. Shot. Here we are in Ireland. Unbelievable. We are now hunting red stag after the week that we've already had. The three of us have spent time in New Zealand hunting red stag and now we have done it in Ireland as well. I can't thank all you guys, all you guys, Chad for setting this up, Brandon for being here. This is the ultimate trip to Ireland. And this is it, we've done it, we've done it. We have a day and a half left and we head back to the US, but we've got to experience Ireland. Tonight we're gonna to go out to a proper Irish dinner with the boys. You're paying. And I'm buying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys. Uh, nice job, man. Awesome. Job you too, awesome. good awesome. shooting this week, boys. Drinking milk is a great way to meet the body's needs for nine essential nutrients and vitamins. It helps build stronger bones, maintain muscle mass, and it helps power us at Bone Cold TV to achieve greatness. Go to milkforhealth.org to learn more. See, can we get this monster of a seeker? Black ghost. Hopefully, we go. It's at least more enough on So, it's our last morning in Ireland. We are beat. It's been an epic, long week. 
sun's coming up and we are gonna try to end this where we started it. We gotta get in here before the sun comes up any further and there's deer in the field, so here we go. Last morning in Ireland, we have not slept. We were five hours away on the west coast. Last night, we killed red stags on a mountain. We drove, jumped in a car, drove back, got back last night at three o'clock in the morning, laid down for an hour and a half, and then got back in here. The same spot I shot a stag the first night. Or the, the, the second night, I don't even know, I, I don't even know, but we just shot a really good Sika stag. And we were about ready to call it quits, Joe. Probably one of my favorite places in the world to hunt Sika stags. I shot both of mine right here. The Sika stag of Ireland, the true European Sika. And we just shot a big non-typical, and it's even more non-typical than you can imagine. He actually has three antlers. There's Sika stags, different species of Sika stags all around the world, depending on what continent you're hunting them on. The European Sika is a species that I never thought I would be able to hunt. I can't even, I just, I can't wrap my head around what just happened and how fast it happened. We've been sitting in that hedgerow for about five hours this morning. It's been raining on and off. I'm cold, I'm wet. We haven't slept in days chasing animals around the Irish countryside from one side of the country to the other. Non-typical seek deer in Ireland. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Really, really, really unusual here. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like him. You've seen a lot of Sika, huh? I've seen a lot of Sika. I've never seen one like him, though. I haven't seen him in this area either. I've seen lots of stags here, but I haven't seen him. Really nice stag. Really good shot, too. Very lucky. <laughs> Well done, Chad. No, thank you, my man.